Two teenagers decided to wear Make America Great Again hats on Howard University's campus. And what happens? Well, it isn't pretty. The teens say they were harassed, had one of the hats stolen, and essentially had to leave the school. Mike Valerio is here to break down what exactly happened. Mike? And Adam has a lot of people talking, and you know, this may have passed without anybody noticing here, but it's when one of the teens posts this photo to Twitter, well, that's when things get downright ugly. So this is the photo that starts it all. A high school trip to D.C., Trump hats, and even a Trump shirt. Where is this all happening? Howard University. The teen on the left tweets that she didn't know this is a historically black university. She says that students called her disrespectful, shouted expletives, and snatched this red hat right here in the photo. And for them to wear that hat, I think that they were treated exactly how they should have been treated. The teen's tweets go viral on Saturday. So Howard responds with a 10 tweet thread of its own. One in the middle right here saying, quote, though this is an institution where freedom of thought, choice, and expression are ever present, we will never compromise our values or allow others to convince us to do so. I don't think it was really a good decision, but I understand where she has her own belief system. We reached out to the teen from Pennsylvania to ask for ourselves what exactly happened here. She wrote back, quote, I wish I could take interviews and answer questions, but again, things are getting very bad, meaning the backlash she's now getting online. What do you think, final question, them saying, hey, this is America, freedom of speech. What would yes, you say to that? It is freedom of speech, but you have to also be aware of your, the speech that you're um, promoting. So a speech like that with African-American students, African students, and for someone like Trump, for that to be his slogan, I don't think that they should have worn those hats on this campus. All right, so worth noting here, this photo has been tweeted, retweeted, I should say, more than 2,000 times. She also said that she'll continue to support and defend the president, the teen at the center of the controversy, no matter what. Adam? It'll likely prompt a longer and more in-depth conversation. Thanks, Mike. We've also reached out to Howard to ask if they wanted to add anything else to the conversation here. No response yet. We will keep you posted. You'll see plenty of Make America 